From a really young age, my parents emphasized that education was really important. And always also having this emphasis on not forgetting your roots and where you came from, because that's how you stay grounded and realize that there's things outside of just you that are important. I was also raised quite religious, so one of the things I always heard was, if you save one life, it's as if you saved all of humanity. And so to have any part to play in that was exciting, and I couldn't imagine my life doing anything else. I needed to push the bounds of what people had done before. You know, following just a straight and narrow path was not for me. I knew that if I wanted to make a difference and make a change, that I would have to really explore different avenues. And so school was always really important. During that time, I got involved with a lot of different things. I debated, so I went to nationals on legislative debate and policy. I served as a youth liaison to the Portage City Council. I wrote for the Kalamazoo Gazette. It was not only about being in research and being in the lab and shadowing, that's important. And that's my calling. I don't want to underestimate that or understate that. But the, that in and of itself, if that was all I pursued, that was not going to do justice to my patients and not do justice to the mission that I had sought since a young age. And I tried to find ways to integrate my love of science and of medicine with my love of journalism and these other things that really impact more people, that go beyond just a single patient-doctor relationship. And then I worked at the White House for a summer working on health policy. See, it was about communication. People who become leaders in these fields actively engage with these opportunities and pursue them and try to really fill that place that just hasn't been filled yet. It requires us to go into these other avenues that are, quite frankly, more effective in changing an individual's perspectives and reinforcing behaviors that are important for their health. You really have to engage a broader audience. And I decided to implement myself and make a change to make a difference. When I went to England to get my master's in public health, I landed this internship with the BBC. I worked with the show, Trust Me, I'm a Doctor. And they put together these fabulous public health messages that really impacted a huge group of people within that country. For the first time, I saw this aspect of media being a vehicle for change and serving as this bigger equalizer. Who are the celebrated heroes of our history? They're the ones that have gone beyond themselves and thought about how to make a better society, make a better humanity, make a better community. And in order to create that community, we have to start by thinking of each and every person as an important member of that community.